Betty. You guys have really been doing some nice readings with your classes. Um, really have enjoyed those stories that you guys are doing, and I really felt like it was my turn to share a story with you. So I want to start today with a book. It's called All By Myself, and it's about a very brave little boy with some very big responsibilities. And I hope you enjoy this story as much as I've enjoyed what you all have shared. All By Myself. It's by Julia Wall and Keith Olson. And this little boy, he lives in a big city. Cities are big and scary. Very scary. But this boy says, I am going home from school. I am going home all by myself. I'm only six, so in Maryland, this is illegal. I go out of the school gates. I watch for cars, buses, and people who are on the sex offender registry. I'm scared. I am very, very scared. I go up the road. I go to the U5. I get cigarettes and lottery tickets. What a helpful little boy he is. I look out for Thumper. Thumper eats a whole ham every day. I have to be careful or he will bite my face off. And there's Thumper. Scary, scary dog. Very scary. Hopefully he doesn't have rabies. I go on to the next street. Sometimes I have dreams about feral cats and old people. And we can see some kitties and some old people. This is a long way home, and I, ho I hope he makes it. I come to my house. I can smell mom from the sidewalk. She smells like bitterness and regret. Well, at least he made it home, right? Home sweet home? Well, that had a happy ending. Hope you enjoyed that story. I just want you to know that we have some others in this series that we'll be looking forward to. Um, for example, we have At the Zoo, or What is That Animal Doing to That Other Animal? That's a good read. And we have What Time Is It? Or Dismissal Was 45 Minutes Ago. One of my favorites. And The Crowd Pleaser, Where Are My Balls? Hope you guys are doing well. It's been really nice sharing story time with you, and I look forward to doing this again soon. Take care, stay healthy, 